In this video guys we're going to be taking this picture from this to this using Portrait Pro and we're going to be adding that glow to the backdrop using this file here. It's quite simple, stick around, this won't take long. editing tutorial for you today and we're working on this image here we're just going to be using Photoshop and Portrait Pro 24 and I'm going to leave a link to this image and the other file we're going to use to edit this picture below this video so if you want to try it yourself feel free to do so so first off what we're going to do is just tidy up a few areas on this image and if you look here we have got a hair hanging down which is quite annoying we will just fix that nice and quickly and then we've just got a little hair there that i want to move a few little blemishes on the chin area we're going to keep it fairly natural on the skin um, this little bit here is annoying me and then we're gonna bring that back down okay so the main part of this image we're going to be doing in like I said portrait pro but first of all we're just I want to get like a little bit of a glow to the background as if we shone a light directly to that black background she's behind and it's gonna be quite simple to do all I need to do is go to select and we're going to select the subject well we don't need to have it perfect or anything we just need a quick selection then we're going to select a mask and then we're going to make a new layer and this is quite simple to do like i said i am going to leave the other file we'll be using which is this one here um, for you to have a play yourself so we've like we've had a gel shot to the back of the subject and it just gives a little bit more to that image and we'll just get that gel about I think about there okay so it's a little bit too intense so we're gonna make the opacity gonna knock that down just a little bit and then we'll flatten that image and then we're gonna take it as you can with portrait pro direct from Photoshop into this editing program just let it load up now again with portrait pro you can use it anywhere I always turn everything off it does a automatic fix for you as soon as it loads up I always turn that off and then I like to do everything myself but again as I was just saying you can use portrait pro anywhere on your laptop on your computer I think they do an iPad version as well and you don't need the internet you don't need anything it's just everything runs from your computer which is really good okay so we're just going to do a quick shape of the face adjustment we're going to bring those eyes just up just a little bit and we don't need to expand them a little bit more plump on the lips we'll keep that nose to about there right, we're just going to bring those shoulders down just very slightly and a little bit more volume on the hair now I've done another video talking about another piece of software which is Evoto's and their hair volume that they've added recently it just doesn't work right you know if you're gonna add volume you want volume to all the hair so anyway this does it right and we're just gonna bring that hairline down just a little bit as well now we're not gonna use any skin smoothing we're going to use a makeup one we're going to add some mascara which is like to highlight the the um eyelashes and we'll go with a thick one we'll 
bring the texture down. If you bring it up, it makes it softer. If you bring it down, it makes it more, you know, harsh. Okay, upper eyebrow shadow. We're not gonna do any of these. We're gonna add a little bit of eyeliner just to highlight the eyes, just a little bit more. And then a little bit of blusher. And then we're gonna go into the eye section hit clean eyes, whiten the eyes just a tad as well, we'll darken the pupil down and we're going to add a little bit of sharpening to the eyes as you can see, not too much, and a little bit of brightening to the iris, we don't need to use that one, now we're going to go into the mouth one, add a little bit of moisture to those lips, and a little bit more nose contrast in here. Again, not too much. Everything we're just doing very slightly. We've no teeth on show. We're just going to add a little bit of saturation to those lips. Probably about there. Now the hair, we're going to change the colour slightly. And we're going to do that by bringing the temperature down. Give it that more of a platinum, platinum blonde look. And just a little bit of sharpening as well. Again, this is nice and quick. We just do not need to do a lot on this occasion. Um, and then the last one we're going to do is we're going to adjust the lighting. Again, this is a feature that I really love in Portrait Pro is the ability to adjust the lighting to where you want it to shine from. If you look at the catch lights, we did have a softbox here and one down here. So it was like a clamshell effect, but we didn't like the picture from behind. So we've just added that blue and that's worked really well. Okay, so we're going to go for body contrast up and then we're going to bring the base contrast. Now, if we go this way it makes the light as you can see smaller if we go this way it's like adding a larger light to the subject so we're going to go smaller and then we're going to bring it just over this side just a little bit more we might just make it a little bit bigger as well let me just try that bring that down I think around about there and then the cheekbones we're going to highlight you can see the depth it gives to this area here let me just bring that in there's more of a 3d depth to it once we use that slider there we're going to go with a little bit of shadow on this side but we want more on this side and then a little bit of kick just down here we'll make the eyes a little bit more smoky uh, we're going to get a little bit of a shadow under here for the pout we're going to give some dimension to the nose by sculpting again we're not going to go too far and let me just check that lighting. Do I want it more there? I think we will go more to this side. Just so it's like shining more down this way. And we'll add a little bit of modeling depth. Probably around the 38 mark. And I'm just going to go back into the eyes. We're going to sharpen those eyes up just a little bit more. Brighten the iris. And I'm done. I'm going to click return from plugin. We're back into Photoshop. There's a the magic done. 
I'm not so keen on that little crease we've got there on the neck. I'll just get rid of that one and bring that line down just a little bit as well. The final touch is we will use the camera roll. I just want a little bit more of a vignette on the picture. Uh, so we'll go into effects, vignette to about there. Shall we go this way? Yeah, we'll just go to about there with a the vignette. And we're going to bring the shadows up just a little bit. A little bit of contrast to the picture. Exposure up just very slightly. And in the colour, add in a little bit of vibrance. We don't want to go too far. I'm done. How quick was that? Like I said, I'm going to leave these files down below. If you want to have a go and have a play with this image yourself, feel free to do so. And we will see you in the next video.